Let's take a look at this problem. We want to graph the following function over two periods. We want to do it by hand, showing the t-chart along with the graph that has labels on the tick marks. So we got y is equal to negative 3 sine 2x. Remember the number that's on, out in front here that gives us our a. We take the absolute value of it. So the absolute value of negative 3 gives us positive 3. That's our amplitude. And whatever number is in front of our x inside the parentheses here is our b. So it tells us b is 2. Well, first let's find our period. Your period is going to be equal to 2 pi over b. So we've got 2 pi over 2, or simply pi. Now we're going to build our, our t-chart. We start with 0. The very bottom down here is our period, which is pi. Halfway is our half, half of our period, which is 1 half times pi, or pi over 2. This is 1 quarter of our period. 1 quarter times pi is pi over 4. And then here will be 3 quarters of our period. And 3 quarters times pi gives us 3 pi over 4. Okay, now we want to plug those in to negative 3 sine 2x. So we're going to have negative 3 sine 2 times 0, which gives us negative 3 sine 2 times 0 is 0. And sine of 0, sine is our y, uh, so sine would be 0, so we got negative 3 times 0 or 0. Now I got negative 3 sine of 2 times pi over 4, which gives us negative 3 sine of pi over 2. And that's negative 3, and sine of pi over 2 is 1. So that gives us negative 3. And we got negative 3 sine 2 times pi over 2, which gives us negative 3 sine of pi which is negative 3 times 0, which gives us 0. And then we've got negative 3 sine of 2 times 3 pi over 4, which gives us negative 3 sine of 3 pi over 2. That gives us negative 3 times negative 1, which gives us a positive 3. And this is negative 3 sine of uh, 2 times pi, which is negative 3 sine of 2 pi, which is negative 3 times 0, which brings us back to 0. And that's our t-chart for one period. Well, let's graph these. And, um, let's see, let's say that's my um, pi there. So then this will be pi over 2, this will be pi over 4, and this will be 3 pi over 4. Now pi is approximately 3. So when this says it's going up to positive 3 and down to negative 3, well, we're going to have to, uh, if this distance here is approximately 3, then that same distance will be approximately 3 here. And down here, that would approximately be negative 3. Now our first point is 0, 0. Next one is pi over 4, negative 3. Next one is pi over 2 and 0. Next one is 3 pi over 4 and 3. And then pi and 0, which would be right here. And as I draw these, I want to have a little bit of a curve to them there. good as I can do and that's one period there so if I follow the same pattern more or less just uh, eyeballing it there then that would be our um, that'd be our answer